My name is Jeff Will. I'm an Associate Professor of Electrical and Computer Engineering, and I'm Director of the Scientific Visualization Lab. We started the project in 2002, where we had developed a very rudimentary virtual reality system. We had two screens and just two students working with me, and I felt that the power of virtual reality technology could really be used in education. I felt that education could be moved forward through using virtual environments, and I had seen it done uh, at my institution for graduate work, and I wanted to bring that kind of technology and educational method to Valparaiso University to benefit undergraduate students. I had a class with Professor Will, who I do the research with, uh, and what we did is I went up to him and I asked, what can I do to get involved? And he said, oh, I have this incredible uh, 3D projection system. Would you like to work with it? The look on my face back then was, uh, yes, please. We got motion capture software, motion capture cameras, and those goofy suits that you see people in animated features for movies wear. We took the motion capture stuff and we captured dancers, captured conductors, we captured our friends doing silly things, and we even got a project in the museum uh, where we had six students, I believe it was. Uh, they drew in 3D space, and then we took that over time and it became a picture. And it was just something incredible that it just makes me feel like, ah, oh, this is modern art. I'm so excited for this, because I've always loved that kind of stuff. This year, we got these new systems, and we just hit the ground running. Now we have upwards of like 20 people who just got involved because they're interested with it too. And it just seems really cool to see that from my small beginnings with just me and my friend Ted, we gained two last year and now we're up to 20. Just the, the feel, it's like a family. And it just, it, it's, my, it's why it's my favorite part of campus. One of the bigger projects I'm working on is with the Oculus Rift. Inside there's a gyroscope and an accelerometer. And so it, we're able to get the data of its um, roll, its yaw, and pitch. And so using that information in like virtual reality games, we're able to change the point of view of the user. So with the robotics team, we compete in um, the Joey Sanders design competition. And I want to be able to mount two cameras on a pan and tilt with two servos. And so when the Oculus moves, this will mimic its motion so that when the person is wearing the Oculus Rift, it'll be like they are the robot, able to see what it sees. I've been working on um, demos and uh, presentations that are able to be shown to other people on the Oculus Rift. So we have a house, uh, it's a Tuscany house, um, so it's two stories, an outside and inside, and so uh, when you run the program, a person will be able to see the walls, the paintings, um, the architecture, uh, so somebody can see a house uh, as an architect might design it before anything is even built. Um, so that's an interesting one. We also have a roller coaster, for example, um, which can give someone maybe who has a fear of roller coasters the chance to maybe overcome that. I am the only girl a part of VizCube. It's just funny to see a whole bunch of guys in here and, and then I walk into the room and they're like, oh, there's a girl here. <laughs> they're total mood shifts. As a kid, my dad used to take me to the Indy 500 races and ever since then, um, I wanted to be a part of you know, being an engineer and understanding how it works and just knowing I can make it work. Within a couple weeks, I have helped them install um, camera twins that help them visualize um, what's being produced on the screen and um, it helps them communicate back and forth between the VizCube and the computer monitors. With SAE, we're working on a CAD model of the chassis frame. Uh, the chassis frame is the main part of the formula hybrid car that we're building for Society of Automotive Engineering. And that's actually something I wanna um, import into the VizCube so when we get our sponsors to come visit us, we can pull up the chassis frame um, into the VizCube and have uh, interaction with uh, the sponsors. We just installed the VizCube last summer, the new VizBox. Uh, it's a cave system. It's all about immersion, really. Uh, those four walls, you can look every which way and you'll see 3D and you'll look like you're in any environment that is rendered to you. 
with the VizCube, I really like to see a lot of engineering applications, applications under, aimed at undergraduate education. Uh, a class that is, was held here is uh, EMF, Electromagnetic Field Theory. That's a class where a lot of 3D concepts come into play and if you know about calculus, line vectors and stuff. And weird stuff that is hard to explain in 2D, hard to draw. But with that kind of system, we can make demos. We can make demos of these laws, these various three-dimensional laws and you know, drop a test charge into a field and see where it would go and see the forces that are acting upon. That's really cool to me, is if we can stretch to the undergraduate education area, make it a little easier to teach. So. I would really love to incorporate it into my senior design project and kind of show that virtual reality can be a tool that has unimaginable uses. And I really, really want to see that, that the enthusiasm that uh, that they're bringing will continue after I'm gone because I know my friends all come back after that have graduated and, and go, man, I'm jealous that you get to do this. But I, I'm going to be even more jealous because I know that the legacy I leave behind is going to be incredible. I think sky's the limit. We're, we're just scratching the surface on everything. So there's a lot of stuff that we still haven't looked at and there's just endless possibilities. All day, I break it and fix it in every single way. So I got. Still in progress. Still in progress. Yeah. So, oh, thank you. <laughs>